This is what a Mediterranean keto haul should look like. We're talking good fats, we're talking the right nutrients and bright colors. The Mediterranean diet is already known as one of the most effective dietary protocols out there, but so is the ketogenic diet. So we're going to combine the two because they are what we call perpendicular diets. They intersect. You can take Mediterranean principles and do a ketogenic diet with them, and that gives you, well, the ultimate ketogenic diet. So we're going to head into Costco. We're going to find the top Mediterranean keto foods that we can find in there. We're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to make this quick. Let's head on in. So before we head on into Costco, I want to tell you about something I discovered recently it's called hop water okay hop water is this really cool beverage that utilizes the essence of hops to give a really cool hop flavor but without the alcohol you see it's been 10 years since I really drank alcohol right I was in the corporate world so that used to be a thing for me but now it's not now hop water is cool because they combine adaptogens like maca and then they utilize things like 5 HTP which is a precursor to serotonin so 5 hydroxytryptophan is what it's called so anyway you get this sort of calming buzz like feeling but without having to actually drink beer or anything so i highly highly recommend them it's something that's been super cool for me because it's helped me i don't know get into the state where i feel like i can fall asleep a little bit more and it also seems to curb my appetite significantly which isn't something they even really market but anyhow almost forgot to mention too they have three flavors so they have the classic flavor which that's my personal favorite then there's a blood orange flavor and then there's a mango flavor, which is probably my second flavor, uh, favorite flavor. Really interesting stuff. Anyway, if you use the code down below, you'll also save 10% off. So make sure you check them out. That way you can save a couple bucks as well. Anyway, I'm gonna chill out. Highly recommend you check them out. There's a special link down below for you to check them out. It's called Hop Water, H-O-P-W-T-R. Let's head on in to Costco. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hit the meat department and we're just gonna grab some of the top Mediterranean meats. Okay, I'm going to point some out specifically. Mediterranean diets are usually a little less in the world of red meat and a little bit more in the leaner poultries, uh, the high fat fish, uh, some of the lamb, some of the stuff like that. I'm not gonna spend a ton of time there, uh, but we'll figure out what we can so you can find the best bang for the buck. All right, killer deal on the sockeye salmon. So when it comes down to Mediterranean, sockeye is a tremendous, tremendous form for this kind of diet. It's lean, it's going to have the high omega-3 profile that we want with a Mediterranean diet, and super rich in antioxidants, which is very big on a Mediterranean-style diet anyway, eating those antioxidant-rich foods. So the pink pigment is triggered by something called astaxanthin, which has a very powerful effect when it comes down to mitigating reactive oxygen species. So this is a great deal, $9.99 a pound. Their sockeye salmon is the best bargain as far as salmon goes compared to some of the other ones. Now, sea bass is another thing that you'll see a lot in Mediterranean diets. This is Chilean sea bass, so as far as geographic uh, location goes, it's not technically Mediterranean, but it's still something a quote-unquote fattier fish that you would find in a Mediterranean-style diet for the most part. So this one is a very good price for that too. I'm gonna pass on this one because I don't need it right now, but a tremendous Medi Keto find. So the fresh Atlantic salmon, see it's not nearly as pink, which indicates it doesn't have nearly as much of the antioxidant profile. Compare those colors. You can see the deeper red it means a higher antioxidant profile. Okay, now Mediterranean is all about shellfish. There's a lot of good shellfish. Okay, so calamari, everything like that, or frutta de mara as it's called in Italy, right? You just get these really good squid, you get shellfish, all of this stuff is very Mediterranean. Lobster tails, uh, it depends on where you are. See, they are warmer water, so sometimes you're gonna find those, so that could be a good Mediterranean find. I'm gonna stick with some good wild scallops okay i know a lot of good mediterranean dishes that utilize scallops so this is also a very very good price now i'm not going to get them today because it's not really of need in my household but that doesn't seem like a great price when you look at the big picture but 18.99 a pound for scallops that are truly wild caught is really good now i will show you when you get to the frozen section you might be able to find a better bargain uh, any kind of fish if you can get it frozen you're going to save a ton of money oh now we've got this is a newer find at costco it's such a good price look at so we've got organic Fulton Valley Farms air chilled chicken, free range, vegetarian diet is not necessarily a good thing. It doesn't really matter to be completely frank with you. Um, free range also doesn't mean a whole, whole lot, but at least it's organic. But the cool thing is $4.99 a pound is a very good price for organic chicken. Uh, so that's a perfect 
Mediterranean keto find. We don't do a ton, a ton of chicken with Mediterranean keto, but we do so more than beef. So let's go ahead and grab this. And just so that you know, I'm not some uh, crazy guy that pretends to know what he's talking about when it comes down to Mediterranean diets. Uh, I am the author of the new Mediterranean diet, which is a Mediterranean keto cookbook. So that is already a bestseller on Amazon as far as pre-sales go, and it hasn't even launched yet. It comes out in March. So anyhow, um, that's kind of the reason why I talk about Mediterranean keto all the time. It's very near and dear to me, so much so that we've authored some cookbooks on it. So check that out. I'll put a link down in the description as well. Okay, so here's something that people don't often know about lamb. Okay, lamb, mutton, anything like that is the highest omega-3 content that you're gonna find with any land-based uh, animal as far as omega-3s go. So the omega-3 profile is something we pay a lot of attention to with the Mediterranean diet. Okay, it is one of the most potent omega-3 rich diets that you're gonna find out there, if not the most powerful, which means all the fats that they're consuming are fats that are focused on keeping a high omega-3 profile, I mean, high omega-3, low omega-6. And good quality meat is important with that. That's why we have like the, the fish right there, and then we have the chicken, which is leaner, so we don't even have to worry about that fatty acid profile. But lamb is the highest omega-3 profile that you could probably find. Um, these are some lamb loin chops, which that is a very good price. The hard part is you don't get a lot of meat on them, but they're a great little delectable treat that is not super, super high fat to begin with, and it has pretty nice marbling in there. So anyway, we have $6.99 a pound, uh, so 27 bucks for this whole thing. And this would be a tremendous Mediterranean keto find if you're into that. Okay, I think it's important we touch on hummus here. We got two kinds of hummus we can choose from. Hummus is obviously very, very Mediterranean, okay? Chickpeas, one of the most powerful uh, kinds of fiber that you can consume. So first we look, all right, we have one little container, which is decent size. There's 11 grams of carbs in it, three of which is fiber. That puts us at eight grams of net carbs. So what are the ingredients here? Chickpeas, water, sesame tahini, which is phenomenal. One of the best fats you can have. Even though it's technically an omega-6, it has sesamin, sesamol, and sesamolin, which are powerful antioxidants that control the fatty acid profile of the sesame a little bit more. So where are the carbs coming from? Well, the carbs are just coming from the chickpeas. So I would say if you were to have maybe a half of one of these, it would work out well. You'd still be well within your rights with carbs because eight grams of carbs in a whole one, four grams of carbs coming from half of it, you'd be fine. But let's compare it to this one. This was cooked chickpeas, water, tahini again. Oh, they add canola oil. Don't want that. That is not very Mediterranean. Sea salt, citric acid, pine nuts, which are the most omega-6 nut you could possibly find. It's off the charts. So although it does give a nice taste, you're much better off to go with this. I'm gonna grab one of these because it's a perfect keto snack. So Mediterranean, they say you're not supposed to have a whole lot of dairy. I don't necessarily buy into that. I think good quality dairy is great, okay? And if you've ever lived in Europe or you've ever spent any time in the Mediterranean, they do eat a fair bit of cheese. They just eat good quality cheese. So something I encourage you to try is this buffalo mozzarella, okay? Mozzarella is usually not the best cheese in the world, but at least if it's coming from buffalo, you're gonna have a better fatty acid profile because there's better regulations on that. Um, so anyhow, this is literally just buffalo milk, mozzarella cheese, full fat, soft cheese from buffalo milk. That's it. Okay. So as far as a Mediterranean keto dish is concerned, this would be a great thing to make, use on a keto pizza or something like that. Okay, then we have goat cheese. Okay, goat cheese is already highly ketogenic because it contains MCTs in it. I don't know if you knew that, but Goat cheese is rich in capric acid, which is an MCT, making goat cheese the most ketogenic cheese that you could get. And look at this price, $6.89 California prices for two of these. Okay, again, you're making some kind of ketogenic pizza, maybe a cauliflower crust pizza. Perfect, so I'm getting one of those. I don't wanna to load too much up on cheese, but I wanted to be able to show you what they got here. Two, two other cheeses I wanna show you really quick. Pure sheep's milk feta. If you're gonna get feta, get sheep milk feta. It tastes better and it's what you want. Again, same concept, goat cheese, okay? But we're getting it with feta because it's actually going to be uh, cultured a little bit differently, a little bit higher sodium content. In fact, if I had to choose one, I'd probably go for the sheep's feta just because it tastes so good. I don't wanna load myself up too much with cheese, but here's a great Mediterranean keto find. And here is the big one. This is the winner when it comes to cheese, Pecorino Romano aged goat cheese okay so we have the aging process so it's cultured a little bit more the aging also breaks down the lactose more but you also get the fact that it's the proper casein proteins that are in goat milk so it's mct rich highly ketogenic highly cultured and it's aged this is the winner 
Um, I have one at home, so I don't need this either, but top Mediterranean find here. Hmm. Pork loin, no antibiotics ever. I don't know, wow, that's a good price. So here's a nice pork loin. Okay, so porchetta roast, which pork, spice rub, salt, garlic, lemon juice, white wine, wow. It looks like it comes with a marmalade, so you would just use it without the marmalade. But the rosemary sea salt, definitely use the rosemary sea salt. Recent study that was showing that rosemary contains uh, hispidulin and rosemar rosemarlin, I think is how you say it. And those are components that actually get you deeper into a fasted state and deeper into a ketogenic state. So I don't have any need for this right now, but that is a great Mediterranean keto find. I'm not opposed to having some pork dishes on keto uh, and with a Mediterranean keto either. I think that it works just fine. Um, Mediterranean style chicken skewers. Let's see. All vegetarian fed, no added growth hormone, gluten preservative free, made with olive oil. Let's see what they see if that really adds up. We have chicken, water, potato starch, eh. extra virgin olive oil, vinegar, salt, lemon juice, dextrose. I don't like the dextrose in there. And the natural flavors I'm a little bit hesitant on. I'm not the biggest fan of them unless you, unless you know the brand and know what is in it. Um, I don't like the potato starch, but I do like that there's no added weird oils. They actually have real olive oil in there. So I would say that if you were trying to do Mediterranean keto on a little bit of a budget and you just needed stuff on the go, it's kind of a cool thing. But two skewers is gonna get you 700 milligrams of sodium. So I'd give it probably like a six out of 10, okay? Just so you know, raised without antibiotics doesn't really mean much um, because chickens aren't generally given antibiotics. Italian style meatballs. You might think, okay, is this gonna be keto friendly? Well, ah, blended with pork, cheese, and herbs, gluten-free, that's pretty rare. Wow, okay, pork, water, Parmesan cheese. Okay, already an aged cheese, so far so good. Uh, salt, enzymes, cheese cultures. Okay, that's just part of that. Potatoes, hmm, potatoes, mono and diglycerides, dextrose. That doesn't scare me too much. So two meatballs gives you four grams of carbs probably mainly coming from whatever potatoes. They're using potatoes as a binder instead of breadcrumbs. So this wins. Spaghetti and meatball? Or some spaghetti and some chicken. Tens in the front of the cover? This, I'm, actually, these are pretty awesome. I wouldn't say like the cleanest thing in the world, but as far as like a Mediterranean meatball, like this is a good clean meatball. So, so far it's a pretty cool win. I'm gonna grab some of those. That is a really clean sausage, not gonna lie. We got chicken, basil, Look at all those ingredients. That is very clean. So this is the Sabatino's Paleo Organic Basil and Crack. I have no need for it. Not the cheapest price either, 14 bucks for that. Um, but if you're looking for a good sausage, that's a good clean one. This one tricks me every time. Broccoli, cheddar stuffed chicken breast, but it's loaded with rice. So we can't use that. Whoa, that's a good price. That's a really good price. This has got two lamb shanks in it for $6.79. If it didn't have the canola oil, I would almost say this is perfect, but this is still very, very good in the grand scheme of things for a prepared food. I am getting this, this is Mediterranean. Uh, these are great. You could make some tremendous Mediterranean dishes with these, these crepinis. Uh, plus that's a very good deal, $6.29. Crepini egg wraps with cauliflower, cage-free egg whites, uh, free, uh, free range whole egg, cauliflower powder, olive oil, sea salt, xanthan. Yeah, I mean, as far as the macronutrients too, with the olive oil, it's very Mediterranean. Let's grab these. Let's go grab some produce real quick. Doesn't get much more Mediterranean than having some good, good old garlic. That is such a killer deal on garlic. <laughs> that would waste so much if I got that. $14 for organic garlic, and that is killer deal load things up with garlic, one of the best prebiotic fibers you could get. I'll explain what that means in a second. Uh, prebiotic fiber means it grows the bacteria within your gut. So if you were to take a probiotic tablet, that would add bacteria into your gut. Prebiotics grow the bacteria. They help uh, fertilize it. That's why if you ever eat a bunch of garlic, sometimes you get gas from it, okay? It has to do with the prebiotics. So one of the best things you can have because what happens with a Mediterranean diet is it's so good for the gut microbiome because it's so diverse. So what's this Mediterranean crunch chopped salad get? Romaine, chicory, broccoli, cauliflower, flat bread strips, red cabbage, feta cheese, and carrots with a basil balsamic. Okay, already could say we could do without the bread strips, but I think the big factor here is what's in this dressing. Let's see if we can find it. Oh, wow, that's, oh yeah, sorry, I, was, I saw the wheat flour, but that's in the uh, bread. 
which is in a separate packet. Okay, oh, first ingredient, organic soybean oil that is as un-Mediterranean as it gets. And then they put a little bit of olive oil. Down. This so far gets the Thomas stamp of disapproval. A sad face. That is disappointing. That is deceiving. That is not Mediterranean. What about that is Mediterranean? The feta, I guess, <laughs> whatever. Okay, romaine lettuce, lettuce like that. It's all, I mean, sure, it works as Mediterranean. I just want you to know, I could get some, but there's just no nutritional value to it. It's really just a nutrient or a, a, a carrier, a vehicle for healthy fats in your salad dressing. You're not getting much out of the leaves with the salad. So your salad dressing is very important there. Let's see if we got anything here. What kind of mushrooms? Super good price on mushrooms. Mushrooms are a high source of vitamin D2, which converts into D3 in the body. So I'm totally cool. I'm gonna get some of these mushrooms. Definitely Mediterranean there. Let's take a look. Here's some organic mixed squash. People think that just because they're super starchy that they're going to be not okay on keto. These are absolutely okay on keto. Okay, so 1 19th, which is probably gonna be what maybe a third or so of a cucumber, or excuse me, of a zucchini or a squash. Three grams of carbs, one of which is fiber. There's only two grams of net carbs in this. So this Green Wave Farms organic mixed squash for $7, three and a half pounds, such a good deal. I'm gonna get that. Now, I think these are, yes, these are cool. Are these like the Persian style cucumbers? Okay, so these are cocktail cucumbers. Um, they're not the Persian ones, but they're the same kind of concept. These are delicious just to have as a snack. Now, there's only one problem here. I'm filming this on January 7th, and these expire on the 24th of December, so that ain't gonna work. Um, oh, I guess maybe that's packed on. Doesn't really give us a sell-by date. Anyway. I'm all about these. I love to munch on these. If you're looking for just a little snack to have on keto, take some of these. I'm gonna dip them in the hummus. You want a Thomas approved Mediterranean snack? Cucumbers dipped in a little goat cheese or dipped in a little hummus. Thomas Delauer approved Medi Keto snack. Fun fact, did you know that cucumbers are a mild diuretic? So they're super low calorie. You consume them and you can actually help drop, help yourself drop a little bit of water weight. So a nice little diuretic if maybe you feel a little bit puffy. Um, I don't know, you can add them to anything. Add them on top of some eggs, whatever. Check out this uh, little tapas platter. Definitely Mediterranean. This is where it confuses me because people will say, oh, Mediterranean uh, doesn't have fats. Mediterranean doesn't have process. Technically, tapas is gonna be processed. That doesn't mean that it's bad if it's just processed. There's a difference between processed and highly processed, okay? If you're cooking food, you're in essence processing it. So here we have the serrano ham, which is pork, and salt, the chorizo, which is pork meat and fat, salt, paprika, a little bit of maltodextrin, so that's a little bit annoying. Some acerbate, sodium acetate. Uh, let's see, pork meat, fat. So a lot of these do have some things added to it, but the manchego cheese is great because that's made from sheep's milk, contains lysosome from egg, uh, and non-edible rind. $14.99, this is a nice platter though, but if you're gonna compare apples to apples, with the exception of that dead looking thing, I would highly recommend this prosciutto di parma. Very high quality, and there's only one ingredient. It's just ham and salt, or two ingredients, ham and salt. Uh, so pork and salt. So if you were gonna make a tapas, I would almost recommend that you, you know, use some of your buffalo mozzarella, you use some of your goat cheese, you use some of these lamb shanks, and you cut them up. You, you make kind of your own tapas, because this is just, it's good, but it's not great, okay? And bang for the buck, I just like that better. Um, I'm gonna get one of these. You just are about to, about to witness some authentic joy here. Check this out. Coconut mana, which is also known as coconut butter. Okay, this is pure, co this is like peanut butter made from coconuts. Is it technically Mediterranean? Uh, I guess it's technically tropical, but as far as the fatty acid, this is the best thing you could consume as far as any nut butter goes, and it is so good. I'm almost afraid I am gonna get this for the sake of this video, because it's such a perfect find. This is a stellar new Costco keto find, so let it be known that this is a great new find. But I'm afraid I'm gonna overdo it on the calories on this. But look at this, okay, so you've got one tablespoon is 100 calories, nine grams of fat, all coming from the lauric acid, those good fats that we want with coconut. Three grams of carbs, two of which are fiber. There's one gram of net carbs in this. That's so killer. Absolutely getting that. Check this out. You know, you know how I know the Mediterranean diet is getting big? 
Look what we got right here. Unfiltered extra virgin olive oil, bruschetta, and coconut mana. Mediterranean dishes. Coffee over there, I see toasted garlic. I mean, we got something going on. I'm onto something. Mediterranean's on its way up. So what about this bruschetta while we're here? Okay, one gram of carb, I can tell. So two tablespoons, oh my God, this is cool. Two ta only one gram of carb and two tablespoons. That's telling me this probably doesn't have sugar added to it. So tremendous little keto find. What I could do is I could make some kind of uh, keto bread. Maybe I use some almonds, something like that, some psyllium and make my own keto bread and do that. Oh my gosh, awesome keto find. What's the price on this? Well, first of all, $11.79 for this coconut mana is such a good price because I'm going to pay like seven, eight dollars for the Artisana brand. And then we've got the bruschetta is $8.79. You're going to pay that for one of these at Whole Foods. That's a killer find. So good, good on Terra Vivente, whatever brand that is. And now the unfiltered olive oil is also a tremendous price. Look at this, $9.79. What does it mean that it's unfiltered? It means it's going to have the polyphenols, it's going to have the flavonoids, it's going to have everything we want with this. So even here, uh, celebrates the artistry and simplicity of the olive oil obtained from cold pressing, unfiltered extra virgin, captures light pulp, giving the oil its natural and rustic appearance and character. But the pulp is also going to give you the hydroxytyrosol, the most powerful antioxidant that is in olive oil. So absolutely going to get that. This is a beautiful lineup. Let's check out this garlic over here. Organic garlic and extra virgin olive oil. That's all. I love to see that. Organic original. It is $13 for this. So is that a banging deal? <laughs> bang energy drinks. <laughs> banging, bang. Um, look at this. I like some of these ideas. You could use it on bruschetta. You could make some delicious like little pizza things with this. I'm going to get this because this is just couldn't be a better little find for keto. Um, I love how clean this looks. Look at this. Look at this. This is so cool. This is such a clean Mediterranean keto haul so far. This is the way it really should look on Mediterranean keto. I love me these organic pasture raised eggs. Okay, pasture raised is what we want. Free range doesn't mean anything. Talk about that in a million videos, but free range basically just means, whoa, what is this? Okay, this isn't keto, but check this out. A2 milk. Whole milk is not keto, okay? And there's too many, too many carbs in it, right? 11 grams of carbs, but A2 means that I always talk about this. People are always telling me, Thomas, it doesn't matter that you talk about that casein thing. Nobody cares. Uh, it's a huge deal. A to the point where Kirtland is even marketing it. That is a different casein protein. So if that doesn't at least somewhat prove that the kind of dairy we're normally getting is not that good, I don't know what else will. If they're marketing it, <laughs> I guess they'll market anything. But A2 is a different strain of casein protein that doesn't have the BCM7, the bioactive opioids in it. So it's less addicting. Um, I'm not gonna do a whole lot in the frozen section. Let's go see if we can find some good snacks. People ask me all the time, they say, Thomas, okay, Mediterranean diets, they eat a lot of bread, they eat a lot of this stuff. How come, uh, how come that's bad out here in the United States, but not out there, right? It's not that it's not bad elsewhere. It's still going to be wheat, it's still going to be that grain but how it is harvested, how it is processed is highly different. So especially when you look at even like sourdough bread that's made in Europe, it has practically no gluten by the time it's gone through the whole fermentation, that whole process. The quality of the einkorn, the quality of the actual grain, where it has rooted down is significantly different and it plays a huge role. So yeah, if you are in Europe, you can get away with eating gluten a lot better off than someone in the United States would with our highly processed sort of adulterated forms of it that are rich with glycosates, which are going to affect you as far as um, antibody responses within the body. So if you're keto, none of it matters though, because, well, you're keto. Hey, check this out. What? This is a cool new find. Look at this. It's spaghetti squash that you just add water. Add to water. What? 10 servings. That is so keto friendly. All it is is spaghetti squash. Oh my gosh, seriously, this is a cool find. Because spaghetti squash is like the biggest, most annoying thing to make. Like it really is. You, you cook it up, it 
burns all the skin off of your hands and then you have to take that fork and you're like mm, scraping it and doing all this stuff it's so annoying this is so cool wow okay that's awesome so you cook it you add it to water i honest to i've never seen this before so this is brand new heck yes that is absolutely 100 percent keto friendly and we are so getting that not to mention super high prebiotic starches which brings me to this we got a couple of different spaghetti sauces we can look at Let's compare. Okay, we've got this Victoria, which is my almost always go-to. Organic tomatoes, onions, olive oil, sea salt, super clean, six grams of carbs, two of which are fiber. So we have four grams of net carbs and a half a cup. That's a really good price. So I love that. Now let's compare it to this. What's in this champagne sauce? Pasta made with, okay, it's Italian tomatoes with heavy cream, extra virgin olive oil, butter, shallots, sea salt, Wow, white truffle infused, that is nice. I mean, it has some heavy cream in it, so it's gonna have higher fat content, but there's no weird oils or no weird fats. I dig that. What's up with Rao's here? I kinda wanna try that though. Rao's looks pretty clean too. Whole peeled tomatoes, olive oil, onion, salt, garlic, basil, black pepper, and oregano. Uh, I mean, you're paying for the name there, because like, look at this. 11.49 for two jumbo sizes versus 10.79 for two smaller ones. So, I mean, that's kind of a no-brainer there. Okay, I am gonna try this though, because that price is killer. I know it's not organic, but she looks kind of cute. She actually looks creepy. <laughs> you could definitely argue the mixed nuts are going to be Mediterranean and keto, but if you had to choose, I'd probably go down here and I would go with these Marcona almonds, okay? Grown in Spain, clearly Mediterranean, simply by the geographic region in which they're grown. Roasted and seasoned with sea salt. The only problem with this, blanched Marcona almonds, but they douse them in peanut oil. Why would they do that? Okay, peanut oil is going to be high omega-6 when you have this perfectly, oh, almonds are already high omega-6. So on one hand, it kind of doesn't matter. Um, but if we're keeping it with a the Mediterranean theme, this would be a good one. And I would still say they're probably, <laughs> dry roasted almonds are great because you don't have the oil with them. So you're not adding them in oil, you're dry roasting them. But you have the phytic acid in the, sh in the, the skin there. But what you can do is you can, little fact, if you take a probiotic that has what is called lactobacillus rhamnosus, it's an inexpensive probiotic, but you can get it in. Anyway, if you take a probiotic within a couple hours of taking in some almonds, it'll help break down the phytic acid in the oxalates. So that's a fun fact. Definitely don't need more almonds in my household. I'm a macadamia nut guy. And this is a great Mediterranean blend. Is a macadamia nut technically Mediterranean? No, but it still makes the cut. So I think this is a great find. Dry roasted macadamia nuts, garlic, herb, and olive oil seasoning. There's no weird oils in there. The only oils are olive oil and avocado oil. Tremendous find. I have two bags of these at home, so I don't need those. I'm not just skimping, okay? I'm still spending money. I'm just being honest on the stuff that I need or not. And the cool thing is, normally I have to give food away. I'm gonna eat almost all of this. This is all good to go. This is exactly how I eat. So I'm shopping for me in a Mediterranean keto style right now. They're Parmesan, I'm gonna get them. And my kiddos love them. Check it out. My friends at 4505 making the end display. I love these guys. And that is a killer price, $4.69, $2 off. Please, please, please go give them a big try. They have to do well in the, show, in the stores in order to keep up. So I'm gonna get another one just to support them. Definitely keto friendly as well. And definitely, definitely Mediterranean keto friendly. Is it just a thing now for people to walk through Costco on the phone? Because like everyone's doing it. <laughs> it's time for the best slash worst part. Guessing how much this is gonna cost. And fun fact, I left my business credit card in, a, uh, in the card reader at a coffee shop up in Monterey County. So I get to pay with this. How's it going? I get to pay for this out of my personal account, which means that I don't get the tax benefit until next year when I actually go through my personal statement and find this stuff. Normally I put it on a business credit card. All right, find thing okay so far? Yeah. Cool, cool. It's all, all one order, right? Yeah. I'm gonna guess 240. What's your guess? 265. Oh, wow. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, here, hold on. Not bad, 233. See, I'm good at this. Thank you. Me too. Hey, that was cool. The kid in front of me has a mullet. 
Hey, my pricing was dead on, pretty close. 233, I guess 240. We have everything we need for Mediterranean Keto. I'll see you tomorrow.